Hey y'all, my name is Jeremy Wolf. I'm the executive director of More Than Baseball. Uh, my draft story is simple. Uh, I wasn't supposed to get drafted. I was a left-handed hitting left fielder from a Division III school in San Antonio, Texas called uh, Trinity University. We had just won the national championship, which was great. We had national exposure. There were pro scouts at our games. Um, you know, Division III baseball is good talent, and sometimes pitchers mostly will sneak through, but uh, you know, I was very fortunate that the Mets drafted me in the 31st round in 2016. Uh, they were my favorite team growing up, and I, getting that call was the most amazing experience I could have ever asked for. I was at a restaurant. My friend had just texted me, and he said, congratulations. And I was like, on what? You know, the first two days of the draft, obviously I'm not going to get picked, but that third day I was a nervous wreck, and it didn't even occur to me that I could have possibly been drafted. It just, I did, didn't think it was possible. I was at a restaurant kind of just to escape and not even think about the draft. And he texted me and as soon as it, it clicked, I, I started just feeling that emotion, all of that hard work, all of the time, all of the sweat and the tears put into getting that phone call to get it from the New York Mets. Uh, I'm forever grateful for that opportunity. To be a minor league baseball player is, is an immense when I look back on my time, it's, it's filled with such immense joy. I'm so thankful for those experiences. And I, I feel really bad for, you know, this year there's five rounds in the draft and there are hundreds, thousands of guys who aren't going to get drafted this year or have the chance to play professional baseball moving on in the future. And with 20 rounds of the draft for the foreseeable future, it's, I feel bad that really good ball players, deserving ball players, future big leaguers aren't going to have the opportunity to play professional baseball. So more than baseball, it's something we created, myself, Slate Heathcott, Simon Rosenblum Larson, as a response to the problems within minor league baseball. Yeah, they don't get paid much. Yeah, it's really hard. You grind on a bus, you eat bad food. But good player development is not just coaching in a nice weight room. It's everything. It's building a culture of winning. It's having guys... Um, receive, you know, housing, food, equipment, career services, financial guidance, mental health coaching, these resources, having them available for players to use at their disposal. And so I'm grateful for the success that we've had with more than baseball and the continuing success that we're going to have. For the guys who were drafted today, you know, I, I look forward to meeting you guys soon. For the guys who aren't drafted today, baseball may not be over for you guys. Go play indie ball. Go play internationally. Leagues in Australia, South Africa, Italy, and Germany uh, all have great baseball. Go play. Use baseball to have experiences. And that's something that we can help you guys with as well. For guys who do get drafted today and for the 20 rounds over the next couple of years, um, feel free to use us to, to make yourself better, to use us as a tool, help get you to the big leagues. That's our job. That's what we're here for. And so for those Guys drafted today, congratulations. For those guys who would be drafted the next 35 rounds, baseball's not over for a vast majority of you. So continue to pursue, continue to have experiences with the game, and good luck.